was walking down the street, and I look and I found something in a box. Good grammar. This is it'd be a good story. This is good. I went home and tried to open it. It took hours, but I took a crowbar and opened it. Inside was a cell phone. Dude, okay, what? You spent hours trying to get a damn box open? I get you're curious, but spent hours with a crowbar. Damn, what do you think was in there? A million dollars? I looked through it in the contacts. There was only one titled phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Phone. This is gonna be a good one. This is good. This is the good shit right here. This is why creepy pastas were invented. So this shit could come out to the world. I was curious. It's about curious, wrong. I was curious about this, but I just turned off the phone and turned on the TV. After a few hours, the phone started grinning. That's weird, I thought to myself. I knew I turned it off. Yep, yeah, you did. According to the story, you did. I picked up the phone and opened the text, and it said, What are you doing in my house? And I'll I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The only reason I'm doing the story is for a fucking laugh. I'm telling you. It's, it's just how it is. I mean, so did the ghost possess the phone? The, the ghost, the scary ghost, he's saying, get out of my house. He's in the phone. I wondered about this for a second and then went to bed. Because <laughs> that's what you do. You get a threatening text and you're like, ah, you know what? I'll sleep on it. I got up the next morning. The phone was gone. The box was too. It was like I never got the phone. Who was phone? <laughs> that's it. That's, that's the story. Yeah, sorry about the short shady pasta. I'm trying to put them out more often. Yeah, I mean this is just funny, man. I. <laughs> Hey, Scotty. I like turtles.